We see the, the portal stuff. And the, um, or, you know, GLaDOS. And right here we have Shell up there. We have, I'm, I'm, I'm admiring the art as I am replying to, uh, um, I was replying to a friend of mine, so I'll just pay attention to two things at once. There we have, I guess, GLaDOS or someone. Yep, might be GLaDOS as a, I don't know. Yeah, anyway. Here we go. Blast a hole into shell. No, no. <laughs> no, it's this is this is this is much good game. The light. Oh, no. This game honestly has some like either just as or even more creepy stuff than in Portal One or the yeah the first Portal. Like. Whenever you find the Easter egg stuff, I'll see if I if I can remember where everything is. I'll show you. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> like the way it looks. I don't know. Anyway. Let's move this chair in here. Did it? Okay, I was gonna say, did it disappear there? Because it was kind of glitching out and. Anyway. Let's see. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share. <laughs> Um. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. <laughs> um. But, uh, but yeah, I, I, this is one of my most favorite games because of just how brilliant it is. And, um. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. So, um, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, this is... If I was playing the PC version, I'm sure I'd be, uh... Um... I'd use mods to make the game better. No, no. <laughs> But I'm a I'm pretty much a console gamer. I'm not saying I won't ever try to play PC games. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. <laughs> Just at this point in time, to play any really good games on the PC, you need a PC game or a gaming PC, and this can cost quite a bit. So, and I can't afford that. So, console game is good enough for me for now. Not that it really matters, you should be able to play whatever. <laughs> we'll be judged, but it's the internet on here, so, you know. And even in real life, I mean, there's, you know. Anyway, oh yeah, I can't do that. I can do it right there. Oh, right there, apparently. 
Well, just just floating TVs. My goodness. Wee. <laughs> a lot of a lot of beans. Chill had to probably eat a, eat a lot of beans. Probably farted a lot. What? A girl farting? That's it's pretty much been known for a while. Anyway. Duh. I didn't mean for me to do that. <laughs> I was thinking somewhere around... Let's see. Where was I thinking? I was thinking somewhere. There was, um... Um... There's like an Easter egg around here somewhere. I, I can't remember for sure, though. Maybe it's not here. I don't... I don't know. All I know is it's somewhere. Maybe if I go through here and I can spot something. Maybe not. I know there's like a lot of hidden stuff in this game, basically. <laughs> and... It's pretty cool. Remember your evacuation training. Anyway. If I read that right. If the Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. <laughs> See any Easter eggs through here? I know there's some points where you can see Wheatley popping in it, in and out. And there's like one part where you actually get to grab him. All right. Oh, here's a cube. Something I like doing is uh, doing this. As soon as I can get up, wait a minute. Okay, as soon as I can get up there. Wait a minute. So if you do that, that'll happen. So let's put a portal here. But that doesn't solve it, does it? Because it goes too far and falls in the water. So let's try it again. But we're going to have this happen. There we go. But the thing I like to do is this. If it'll work right. Ow. Kind of bit my... Something there for a second. Whee! Oh. Came to me. That was interesting. I don't think I've had that happen before. Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All aperture science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. <laughs> By the way, when I was mentioning uh, one of the previous parts, whether this is it or not, um, I had mentioned that... Um, PS3 owners got um, better stuff. Hold on. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. <laughs> um, but the thing that I... Uh, <laughs> that. And uh, the, the, the thing I was mentioning was how PS3 owners got much better deals than than 360 owners. Um, I do have the P I do have a digital copy of the PS3 version. Um, I'm just 
I'm just playing the 360 version of this because I played the 360 version of um, the first portal. So, you know, only makes sense. Whee! Alright. Uh, anyway. Um, yes, yeah, somewhere, some places, may not be able to show them all, but some places have Easter eggs. Where you can, you know, look around and... Um... But yeah, uh... Yeah... Okay. Um... Get up there, you. Um... But I do have the PS3 version and I have the DLC. And like I said, it's pretty fun. Um... The DLC that you, uh... Get to use for, um... You know, this game and on the PS3. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future. And the future starts with you. <laughs> anyway, um... Let's see... We... Um... Of course, I'm sure PC gamers, I mean, they could just hack it or do... I think the PC one had, uh, they have, uh, that, like, where you can make your own, um... I think there's this thing where you can make your own, uh, tests and stuff? I don't remember. Let's see if I can break this glass. I don't think I can, it just... Seems like something I might have been able, might be able to do. No, I go way too far. <laughs> Wait, maybe I can do it from there. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't work out. Anyway, uh, let's go and do the test thing. All right. And you can probably tell I'm using an Xbox One, a regular Xbox One controller, because of this whole thing. Um, I apologize if that messed you up in some way. Let's see. Uh, no, I didn't land in there. Well, shucks. Okay, anyway. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Smash it! No, I can't do it. Okay, never mind. Do do do. Let's see. Now I can do that. Bam. Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you. Please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. This game, as I said, there'll be a lot of funny quotes. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. <laughs> Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the, do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. 
Three! That's high. It's w it's too high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Ow! Ow. I am not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> I can't move then. That's the problem there. Are you still Are you still there? Could you pick me up, do you think? If you are there? Oh, brilliant. Thank you. Great. Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Um... Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Could you just turn around for a second? All right, you can turn around now. <laughs> Bam! Secret panel. But I open while your back was turned. And off we go. <laughs> Look at this. No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just hold on, though. Where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, just follow the rail, actually. <laughs> oh, no. Yes, hello. No, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact. Whatever you do. No, thanks. We're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving. Keep moving. And there goes my talking point. <laughs> Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber. And she will probably kill us if, if she's um, awake. If you want to just call it quits, and we could just sit here forever. That's an option. Option A, sit here, do nothing. Option B, go through there. And if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. So if you've got any reservations whatsoever about this plan, now would be a tremendous time to voice them.